This is a cheap gun. This is a cheap gun. This is a cheap gun. And the only reason we are letting these cheap guns give us whatever diseases they possess is because for years you have demanded that we bring back the cheap gun challenge. Now, as we all know, inflation is high and that begs the question, what kind of pistol can you get for a measly $300? Now, our pistols will compete in a series of challenges to find out. We are even very lucky to have a very enthusiastic studio audience here. But before we meet the guns, let's meet the men. I'm Mason, and I'm really not sure why I'm here. They invited me after I raided their house, and so here I am. Chris Blau, I am the better host of 1911 Syndicate, and I'm here to win. What's up, America? My name's Jake. Um, I've never actually won legally one of the Cheap Gun Challenges, but I also play with honor and nobility, which I think stands for something in the year 2023. I'm excited to be here today and kick some ass. Do you plan to cheat today in order to win like you've done in previous Cheap Gun Challenges? As the reigning champ of Cheap Gun Challenges, I have not cheated once, and that is documented on all the previous episodes. So no, I plan on winning fair and square like I always do. 85.7% of all 1911 Syndicate guests believe you are more likely to go to hell than Chris. Does that bother you? I don't think those people were of sound body and mind, and I don't place a whole lot of faith in what they say. Who is more likely to go to hell, Jake or Chris? Oh, uh, Jake. Gingers always go to hell. You're left-handed and ginger. Why are you so fucked up? Yeah, that one, that one stings a tad. Um, I don't think, you know, look man, DNA is gonna do what DNA does, you know? You know what I'm saying? Was it even necessary to buy a cheap pistol when you already own multiple Glocks which qualify as a cheap shitty pistol? <laughs> First off, robot lady, go uh, delete yourself. Secondly, I tried to pull that move and Jake claimed that was cheating. So I followed the rules like I always do and bought a cheap gun. Do you have any chance of beating Chris and Jake today? I think I didn't have to show up and I could have beat them. Has anyone other than yourself referred to as the Irish Panther? Yes, actually. People, I meet a lot of people. Uh, gym, grocery store, post office, um, the mall. People come up and they're like, what's up, Irish Panther? Like, they usually just shorten it to IP. They're like, what's up, IP? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a popular thing. If you win today, will you consider carrying your cheap gun on duty? Absolutely not. You look more like an aging orange spotted house cat that rummages through dumpsters for leftover tuna fish. I think we're done here. It is true that when you got a haircut, you accidentally got a bob cut like a menopausal Mormon housewife. This is true. When I got my haircut, I was at Jake's house and I showed up and he said, you look like a middle-aged lesbian soccer mom and you need to go get your hair recut. And that's what we had to do. Any other ball busters, robot lady? Didn't think so. <laughs> okay, thank you to the sponsor of today's video. That would be Sagar Gear. They make the belts uh, that we rock and we do actually wear those on a day. If you ever see us in public, that would be a good test. You guys can put our ass to the fire, whatever the expression is. You'd be like, show me your belt, bro. And we'll lift up our shirt. We'll show you a little bit of belly fur and you're gonna probably see an inner light Velcro belt. Look at that thing. Look at that. Did that just come off your hips? It did. Yeah, look at that. Look at that shit right there, right? So that just came off the big man's hips, okay? And uh, this is a, I mean, you'll obviously notice this is a pretty substantial long belt. Um, not for Finish third. The act. Oh, sorry, but um, uh, codes 1911 syndicate will save you guys like uh, 10% off of the belts, um, battle wagon, emissary, all that stuff. You can take this long boy back, <laughs> and uh, yeah, that said, back to the video. Let's reveal some freaking guns. Cool, I'm gonna go first. Okay, sure. We got the, I think, overall aesthetically better looking gun, which adds some points to me winning hmm. the car CW40 with your clip draw. Which I I picked on a gun not that long ago, and you and you said it was going to be a FUD setup. I think last time we checked, we're not talking about that gun, so I don't give a fuck, Jake. Oh, that's how that works. Setup, okay, sure. Yes. Anyways, so Car Arms also is founded by a gentleman whose dad founded the Unification Sanctuary Church. Do you know what church that is? 
No. That is the church that worships AR-15s that made the news a couple years ago. Is it a real thing? Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, so I figure through the blessings of our holy AR-15 passed down through the sun to car, mm. this was the best option. Okay. I'm gonna have God behind me, I'm gonna have good product behind me, and mm. I'm gonna win today. Okay, how much did that cost you? This was exactly in our budget, two ninety nine. dollars So top of the budget. So you had to max out the budget to get that. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta go big or go home. Yeah. Well, I went big. Yeah, and you're gonna go home, so we'll see how that goes. I think you're staying at my house tonight, so watch it. Yep. Nope. You, uh, Mason, help yourself. Please. Um. So yeah. I picked this uh, because it was either this or Slingshot. Okay. And I thought maybe this might be more accurate. Which is a gamble. It's a, a Walther uh, yeah. PPS. Mm. It's also got a name that I recognize, which all the other ones didn't. And um, so, yeah, I mean, James Bond has a Walther, right? So He does. This is like maybe if James Bond had a twin, like in the movie Twins, this would be the Danny DeVito version. Definitely. Of, Didn't he uh, die, James though? Bond. Well, this is about to die. So oh, okay. After we're done with it. It's you don't feel in confident the in your product. I don't feel confident in any of your products. No, oh, no you no, chose no. that. Yeah, I mean, did I though? Have you already lost this challenge? No. Okay, just no. making sure. No. no Question no. for yeah. both of you. How many options did you have when you went to pick out your pistols? Specifically three. Okay. So two. one, two, and there's one more there. Okay. And yeah. these are the best of the three? These were the only three. So I guess, yeah, best. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know that choice would be the right word for what we did with these. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, I'm gonna highlight this. I had a lot of choices on what I could get. Cause there was a whole cabinet in the shop that I went to. Oh, oh really? Wow. And- A cheap gun cabinet. I got to, exactly right. Huh. And so I got to pick the best of the best from that cabinet. Okay. Huh. You want me to talk a little bit? Sure. Uh, yeah, continue. Oh, it's got speech. Can I get a share? Hold on. <laughs> Well, there's a jury back here. Jury will have to vote um, at some point within this. So allow me, I could have been an attorney. A lot of people said that. So let me take you on a little bit of a journey here. The journey I would like to take you on is to a land called Argentina. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a great place. How long is this story? It's going to take about three minutes, right? It's simple. <sighs> Time out. This, <clears throat> I refer to as Bertha the Bursa. Okay. Like the Bursa sack? That's huh? above my medical pay okay. grade. But because it's Argentina, I call her Bursa de la Bursa. Okay. Argentina. Bursa of the la Bursa? Yes. Argentinian. Okay. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Bursa. As is the case for any Bursa, she's robust. Okay. You ever met a Bursa? Bertha? One. Okay. That one. A little thick. Bertha or Bursa? <laughs> He keeps changing back and forth, yeah, so I'm a little confused on what's going on. Yeah, it all blends hey, This prepared yeah. speech is hey, can dog you, can shit. Can you go to no. your notes, please? Hey, yeah, read, you please. idiot. Any lady that you ever meet named Bertha, a little bit robust, right? Thick thighs, thunder thighs, that kind of thing. This Bertha de la Bursa, she's thick. It's literally the one female that's watching the show. <laughs> She's thick, okay? She's in 40 cal. It's a hard hitting round. Okay. <laughs> it's that's a really, big round. That's really thicker. the second thing that I think I'd like to highlight. If you've ever met a Bertha, she hits hard, okay? She's, Did you know from personal experience? School Were you hard abused? Knocks. Yeah, do you have right? something you're you going to tell us right now? as a kid by a Bertha. Or now, look, this girlfriend being oh. in 40 cal, that's how you put some shit down, okay? And oh, you yeah. know that because you've got 40 cal guns too. Boom. Well, ironically, the only cheap guns any of us could find were in 40, so. Because yes. nobody wants them. But, um, look, being robust, hitting hard. But the other thing that I would note about any Bertha or Bertha de la Bertha is that she's... She's not fancy, you know, like Bertha doesn't need a sushi dinner. She doesn't need to go to a nice steakhouse. She's just happy to get out the house and go somewhere. Okay, that's what we call economical. That's correct. <laughs> Bertha de la Bursa was economical, $216 out the door. Wow. Okay, so this really is gonna stand up to the test of time today. You're gonna be shocked as we go shoot, you're gonna be shocked about the trigger and some of the features that this, you're gonna be shocked about World's the passing, longest reset. the trigger, right? <clears throat> You're going to be blown away. And I think we should go shoot the guns. Do you have one in the chamber? Yes. Dude. Oh, oh that's so terrifying. I see that. Okay, so first round, we're just going to run some guns a little bit. And, um, you know, kind of take the governor off. Get to know these bad boys. <laughs> take the governor off. I yeah. like that. Yeah. 
Oh God, this is horrible. No. Oh, that looks snappy. <laughs> Holy shit. So not high capacity. No, definitely not high capacity. See that car. What model is that? CW40. CW40. Yeah. Concealed yeah. weapon 40? Yep. Oh. <laughs> ah. That looked violent. <laughs> oh. oh. Ouch. I don't know what happened, but that hurt, man. <laughs> that didn't look good. Yeah, the clip. I think the clip got you. Uh oh. Oh, oh. Function. Yes. Oh, no. That's a good sign. But you, but a feature of this gun is if it does have a malfunction, it keeps the round for you so yeah, you can yeah. pocket it. And that was two ninety nine. Oh, I mean that hurts me watching. Man. Yeah, that, that looks like it hurts. Dude, this gun hurts. I might have to go to the hospital. Unfortunately, what I discovered when I was test firing this the other day. The, there's a slight shift in the sights. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a full AMB gun. Mason, you hear that? $216. Low. Whoa. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yes. I was going to help you. So I was about three foot to the left. <laughs> yeah, I'm three foot to the left. Three foot left, and there it is. That's after one mag. Now this will open up significantly throughout the day. <laughs> That's what I'm Let saying. me see that double action. Let's see pull. that double action trigger pull. It's not bad. Yeah, uh, you just do it dry like that. You would be you shocked. Shake handshake <laughs> at the last little this bit. This trigger is better than you think it's going to be. <laughs> and there's one more point that I would like to make about this. The Ecuadorian Air Force carries bursas. So fuck both y'all. <laughs> I didn't even know Ecuador had an Air Force. Ecuadorian <laughs> Air Force. What do they fly? Planes. Cessnas. Did they say paper planes? That's rude. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you drop them all off cocktails out of the window. Hold left. Consistently missing? Oh, I'm yeah. glad you I'm glad you picked this gun. That's good. This is a good gun for you. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize how much I love that until I picked this up and I was like, oh dear lord. <laughs> it is... definitely shoots nicer than that. It's just not uh, accurate at all. I like a girl with a fat ass. See? Yep. Fucking easy day. Yeah, easy day. Too bad you don't have that one. Yeah, not definitely soft. gotta hold on to it. Not soft recoil. Oh, jeez. It's stumpy. You know, one thing I found out just in this initial impression is uh, I don't like 40. So Except if you guys look at the trigger reset on this thing, so that's your trigger pull. Let me show you the reset. Okay, it's a short reset system. <laughs> Click. <laughs> God, I don't want to shoot this thing. Oh, oh my God. Dude, he is, it's easy to see. Dude, he might shoot himself. <laughs> Shut up. You're limp wristing it, you little puss. Right, right. You fucking pussy. Because you <laughs> didn't have the same exact malfunction. Oh, that did happen to me. I you had the same exact malfunction. I have a broken wrist though, so, okay? Again. I gotta uh, shoot Jake's. You're gonna like that a lot more than you think. Yeah, this is gonna suck. We have a long week of filming. Right. Yes. Same one. <laughs> Challenges are going to be tough on that. Okay, well, I guess it's challenge time. Let's do it. If you guys are looking for any ways to support the channel, I'll give you an insider tip. So our Patreon is pretty cool. And we have, if you look, you guys can actually be a judge and jury of a future cheap gun challenge if you're on our Patreon. We might film in your city. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but you should check that out. That is linked down below. We're also a real estate company. So um, keep that in mind. I get it. The interest rates suck. Papa Jake didn't make up the interest rates, right? That's the thing called the Fed. But if you get back in the housing market, let us know. Um, we'll help you buy or sell a house, whether it's in you know Utah or wherever. Look, if it's in the U.S. and technically Paris, um, we'd love to help you guys out. With that said, back to the chaos. Okay, so each of our pistols are from a different native country. Yeah. yeah. Argentina. America. 
Germany. And Germany. So we will be bringing you challenges to represent those foreign minus him nations. When we think of a great competition of shooting, you think of running a plate rack, right? Yeah, except, standard drill. Except in Germany, they're like, oh, we don't really do plate racks. We drink beer here. Therefore, we will <laughs> present to you the beer rack. It must be run like a plate rack, except it is German lager. <laughs> okay. First to explode all six German lagers yes. under a shot timer is the champion. You've got a pile of okay. ammo here out of fear of running out of bullets. Yes, yes I do. Um, and we're going to see how that goes. I was leaving that for you, though. In <laughs> I might also need that. Yeah. It's entirely possible. I think we're all going to need to dip into that. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay, shooter, stand by. Beer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he won by default. Ah, I gotta get that last one off. Wow! 40 cal is powerful! <laughs> so that second to last round went through the can and didn't knock it off. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. 1878. 1878. Oh, okay. That's gonna be tough to beat. <laughs> I can again? smell the beer. Yeah. 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 It smells yeah. good, huh? It smells great out here. <laughs> okay. You might have to deal with malfunctions here, too. Dude. <laughs> oh, you are! That's true. <laughs> hey. Okay, you're so you're sweet. ready. Stand by. Beer. Hey, <laughs> he grabbed my ass. Oh. oh Hurry! No. Oh. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Oh, and it's a jam. Oh no! <laughs> this, <laughs> this is not going, going well on. right now. See that? That was an administrative reload, bitch. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Hurry up! What are you waiting for? Fix it! Hit the beer can! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you, bro! You're gonna have to reload. <laughs> oh, you lucky Too bastard. Left. You lucky bastard. Dude, this is not not well, going well right now. Not with that attitude. Hey, what's our time at? Well, as of, oh my gosh. As of about 15 seconds oh no. ago, 51 Hurry seconds. Up. Shut up, Mason. Wasting time. Oh. This is terrifying. Oh. Oh, no. Do you oh, want help? God. Hold on. Let me help you. Dude, what is going on with this? You paid too much. <laughs> Got you. Mason, it's still up there, dude. You overpaid I don't have for your car. For you, though. Hold on. You got ripped off. Gotcha. Wow, you just got smoked. Son. Hold on, real quick. Okay. Woo. You're welcome. Well, total time with assistance, 97.95. With two cans you, that you never shot. I kept readjusting. You opened one. How, how does that, how do you have the one just spewed out the top. Work? How does that work? That's gonna look really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh -oh. solid time. Too. All I solid can say time. is I did my best. Yeah, you did. I've got I've gotten eight cans down now. I just want to say this: I'm doing this ship for the Ecuadorian Air Force. Here we go. Stand by. Yeah! Oh my gosh, that you cheater! Ooh, okay. Okay, one more. There it is. What do we think? I think I got it. 15. Okay. How much? 21. How much? 12. I think it's 17. 15, I said. 16.58 for the fucking Ecuadorian Air Force hey, listen, right there. Listen. That's who I did that hey, for. Hey, Viva no, no. Argentina. Mental note, he cheated. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, boys. You had a little pressure to the can and... Jake, what are you doing over there? Taking a shit. All right, let's do this. <laughs> and shook up all the beers and it knocked some off, okay? So, didn't have to deal with the same thing Don't be did. mad, don't be mad, boys. <laughs> don't be mad, okay? I also play with honor and nobility. 
which I think stands for something in the year 2023. Good job, Ronnie. Bertha Bella Barca putting in work. This might be the one cheap gun challenge I don't win. I'd say overall, Chris uh, had an embarrassing show and Mason probably won. I had high hopes for Chris. He talked a lot of trash before uh, all of this and uh, I think that might have might have caught him. That in the car, I think it was a bad, bad choice. Jake was faster, slightly. Anything for you, Chris? I'll say something real quick. Yeah, go ahead. All I'm gonna say is that the beer smells delicious right now. Bertha de la Bursa, or Bertha de la Bur You know what I'm saying, the fucking Bursa um, is from Argentina, okay? And one thing we know about my friends down in Argentina is they do like to play football, okay? okay. For soccer, for, for us Americans. you Americans, yep. right? Um, so this is going to be what I call the Messi challenge. Okay. Leo Messi, famous yeah, Lionel player. Messi, famous most famous soccer player. player of all time. So here's what's gonna happen. Shooter's gonna be online. You're gonna get three evolutions of this. Someone will be, the, the inbounds soccer player will be behind the shooting line. They are gonna throw an inbound ball. When the ball makes contact with the ground, the beep will go off. You have three seconds to try to get a hit on that ball. Okay. Don't shoot after three seconds. Okay. You, you got a part-time on that thing? No. If we know how to set it up, we can do that. I don't know if that's. I, I have one in my truck. We can do. But well, I don't, I don't know how to set that one. Up. We'll figure it out. We'll just we'll we'll you know we'll we'll bro science some shit. So that's gonna be the deal. Okay. I'll inbound some soccer balls. Okay. Fucking do this shit all day. Bob, it's gotta be a miss. Both misses. Check that pink ball. I think that thing's safe. Yeah, it's safe. It also smells like beer. The entire range smells like beer right now. Ball is safe. <laughs> Malfunction. Okay, you were supposed to throw it in the fucking he, he, circle. He's not doing that. I tried to throw it in the direction of that. Hey, hey, hit the berm. I, you just, you tried for the circle, but hit the berm. <laughs> 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 Stupid ass gun. Zero hits after round one. Huh. That's I I totally didn't expect that. I'm gonna put a little bit of stank on this one. Fuck. 260 was your last round. We got a hole. Oh, I, oh, I thought oh, you oh, hit oh, it, dude. I could have sworn you hit it. Yeah. In and out. Nice. Entry, exit hey. wound. Yeah, hey. Hey, we can still use that ball. That ball will survive another rock round. We All call right. that pure luck. That's good. Oh, absolutely. And malfunction. Did I get it? I didn't cross the line, but that's on me. Negative. Negative. No hit. I sent multiple rounds of 40. And you miss multiple times. Boy, 40 cal just don't miss like that, you know? <laughs> so stupid. Stop. Oh, right there. I hit it twice? No way. Well, he goes up two. Hey, more. hey, Utah, give me two. Give me two, Utah. Damn it. So, the live studio audience made a good point. We invite a guest out and he whoops our ass. This is the last time we invite someone out. Yeah, you could you could tie it up. <laughs> yeah, you're up, you've got one more around. Let's go. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> get you cannot get more than one round. Man. Well, at what point in your eight seconds? Second round. No, no. Hey, listen. listen that was listen, definitely hey, after no, three listen, seconds. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen. He shot it while I was sitting still. And he still missed out. <laughs> Second round, 3.65 seconds. There is no hits. It's okay. There's no hits. Oh, well, lovely. He's gonna take this so serious right now. I'm not going down on, on this. Yeah, dog. Drop the mag and a malfunction. <laughs> it's just an empty I'm shell, everyone. Relax. Roll the straight. No, it's. 
<laughs> I think I forgot about the, the drift in the sights again. Uh, you know, Mason, for how much I did not want to choose that Walther, I should have gone with the Walther. Yeah. Do you think that I because I used apple butter as lube, that's what's causing the problem? It's possible. Conceivable, sure. Or maybe I need more apple butter. Well, we're gonna find out here shortly. Okay. So Chris. Yeah. <clears throat> we've done the Argentina challenge. We've done the German challenge. Where's your gun from? Well, my gun hails from the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And Pennsylvania is known for the Amish. This is true. The Amish like traditional meals, much like we just had Thanksgiving, similar. Yeah. Right? We got, you know, your mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. your stuffing and turkey. Yeah. We even have Amish apple butter. Okay. Right. So what are we going to do with this stuff, Jake? Well, here's the rule set. And that's right, everyone. This is horrific. You must consume your traditional Amish meal with only your hands. Now, every, I'm going to say 15 seconds, a beep is going to go off. 15 seconds, that sound fair? Perfect. 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 15, 20? I was thinking like yeah, sure, whatever. 20, I'll say 20, I'll give it a beep. How many rounds of that do we get? Every 20 seconds, a beep is gonna go off, at which point you must grab your pistol and land one round on steel. Steel's at about 25 yards as a frame of reference. Okay. Um, once you land your round, go back to eating your meal. Um, I do have some traditional Amish music prepared on my phone, so you okay. will have a soundtrack to this. Perfect. Um, once you are the first one to finish their meal and land a round on steel under the clock is the winner of the challenge. It should be a very clean and very neat challenge. At any point, if I want to tap out, what are we doing for that? It's called you're a bitch and you can't tap out. Okay. Uh, round on steel. Round on steel. Oh, round on steel first. Oh, my bad. I thought we had to eat first. Oh, no. Just hit the steel. I can't even see where you're hitting. You're to the left. In the dirt at the steel. Well, Hello. I'm already out of ammo, dude. No, you're out of your own malfunction is what you're on. Oh, there it is, it. eat! Oh. <coughs> Went too far down. Don't say that when you look at another man. This is, this is turkey stuff, mashed potatoes is in here, everyone. These meals were heated up presently about 11 hours ago. So they were warm. Dude, I think I might throw up. <laughs> Get some turkey in there. You're just eating bread. Dude, You're that just... is hard to choke down. Just all saving right. all the difficult shit for now. I should give him a bottle of water. Hey, I'm gonna go to the store. Uh, yeah. If you gotta make any calls or yeah. got any shit you, you need guys, to do. You guys will be out this for a while. You go, I'll, j I'll jam an extra mag for you. Why not? Dude, I don't know if I can finish eating that. Well, why don't you start eating? I'll jam a mag for you. I still gotta hit the steel, bro. What are we at, 11 minutes? Well, somewhere in there. To the left. This is still to the left? Low and right. What? He goes, let me see your gun. You start eating, I'll hit the steel for you. I can't see where I'm hitting, dude. High left. Low left. What? Low left. Oh, no way, dude. Well, that was a three and a half minute track that's now getting start, started <laughs> over. I might just get DQ'd, what are we at? I'll hit the steel for you. Hit the steel then. And then you can eat. What was that? Don't make it that dramatic. Just eat it. Oh. Get some turkey in there. I'll add finish a with that for last. I would add a protein to that. You're just eating carbs at this point. That's not going to do you any favors. I'm not going to be able to finish that. I'm telling you right now. Dude, I got a terrible gag reflex. I noticed. Well, if you throw up, that's good content. Just This is your challenge. Did you create oh. this challenge? Yeah, your gun is from the Amish country. <laughs> I'm tapping out. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm out. 
Hey, you want me to set a precedent on how you do this? Good luck with that. Are you gonna act? Sure. Oh. All right, Jake, on the beep, you're gonna pick up your pistol, load, fire one round on steel, and then you gotta eat that. Okay, Understood. and then how many seconds do you want before the next round? I think at this point, seeing what just happened with you, I think at least a 30 second window. Okay. I think give me about a 30 second window, you know That's what fair. I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Otherwise, I mean, God knows how long it's gonna take. All right, are you ready? We're gonna start in five seconds. And do it for the Ecuadorian Air Force. Hit. Stuff. God damn it. It's not good, is it? I told you, I told you. <laughs> Fucking stuff <hurts. laughs> God, fucking scopers, Round man. on steel, round on steel, go. Gotta do a round on steel. Where's the beep? I don't have no beep. <laughs> <laughs> Not Fuck. as easy as he thought it was gonna be, huh, Jake? Well, at least I did it. Oh, God, there's plastic in it. Oh, God. Hoo-ah, hoo-ah. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Knock it off! <laughs> Land around on steel. Round on steel. It's your time. Put the food down and shoot the gun. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two malfunctions. Oh no. Three. <laughs> that was a hit. That was a hit. I think that was a hit. Yep. I don't even think this is real turkey, boys. Oh, what I gave you that idea? <laughs> hey, fuck you! Fuck you right now! You're not doing nothing! Stop spinning! Oh, dude, I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> My hands are getting slick. Round on steel, go! Round on steel, put the food down! Round on steel! Something's not right. Oh, the stink is the fucking decocker's on. Miss left? Oh, God damn it! My hands are slick with the gravy. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it is. Oh, nope. Shit. Careful. <laughs> no, I'm out of here. <laughs> really hard getting the rounds in with the potatoes. That it is. I got two rounds. Come on, baby. Better land those two. Make some. Oh, no. Oh, malfunction. Huh. Bertha's having some. Bertha. Bertha. Don't do this. Don't do it. Is it seized up? Don't do this, bro. Now you have a double feed. Oh, there's food in the action. Keep jamming. Around. Oh, no, that round just fell in the apple. You got a hit. Go. Yeah. Eat. Let's go. You did that to spite me, so I'd have to eat, and I know it. <laughs> I did. Does that food get any better? <laughs> you get used to it? Oh, that's gnarly. Round on steel. Round on steel. Stop. Stop shooting. Stop eating. Mason, stop. I don't have any bullets. <laughs> Where's my clip at? <laughs> a clip? Where's my clip at? <laughs> Your clip is in? I have no dexterity left. Uh, clips are for girls' hair, man. If anything's possible if you have a positive attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> he slingshotted the gun! No, I'm live now. Are you? This part, oh, I think that's the problem. I think a part has fallen out of the back of the gun, to the best I can tell. Bertha died? Bertha died. I think she might be dead. Well, this stopped counting, apparently, yeah. and started recounting, and your third time is now 92-19. But better than your time. Plus 133, right. plus probably the 30 seconds before that. Right. So what are you at, 258 seconds? I think she's dead. Right. Okay. Mason, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Stand by. <sighs> Look how ginger he's being. <laughs> it's concerning, to be honest. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the roll's pretty decent. Actually. Not bad. Apple it's butter. Not good. Turns out I'm not really a fan of apple butter, but. That's not bad. Apple butter's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
an alarming amount of casualness here. Round on steel, let's go. It's a big fireball that comes out of that Walther. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like a 10 and a half inch AR with a break on it. Just to let you know, you're at 47 seconds on your last hit. Okay. You had better pick things up, sir. Okay. 15 seconds to your next steal. Okay. Mm, that's pretty good. 10. I have another one. Five. <laughs> Three. Two. Steal. Okay, I'm done. At any point, if I want to tap out, what are we doing for that? It's called you're a bitch and you can't tap out. Okay. So he's just going to tap out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It was so he alarming. Did you eat your whole meal? It was so alarming. <laughs> made you eat your whole meal. So I'm the only one. <laughs> this is the only one that eat that shit. <laughs> Oh man, I'm crying. That's so good. I want a sponsorship from Stouffer's. <laughs> want our money back for the nine dollars that we gave them. Uh, he was at eighty-three oh one for his last round. I ate that meal. I killed Bertha, and for what? Hey, hey, and let's be realistic here. That's a DNF. That's a DNF. That's a DNF. We tied. What's a DNF? Did not, Did not finish. finish. Oh, shit. I always <laughs> finish. <laughs> you ain't that for nothing. <laughs> We all did not finish, so I didn't even win. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Dude. Hey, listen, I'm willing to fuck you over for a lot of things. This is rude. I would never do that to you. Just remember that. This is so dirty. This is so dirty. Also, so, I like it. And in the process. Killed it. Birth is she died. Then. Oh, man. So you got a belly full of shit food oh. and a broken gun. Hey, yeah, um, you yeah. Want, you wanna go get a steak? Oh, actually. Yeah, okay. So hungry. <laughs> Stupid challenge, whoever came up with it. <laughs> Dude, you ate that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I think we all lose having to watch Jake do that and lower himself like that. It was, it was hard not to gag and uh, be sympathetic with the sympathetic vomiting. Uh, whoever cooks for Thanksgiving, I'm not going there. Okay, so <clears throat> at this point, we've all performed. Most of us have, at least. Mm -hmm. well, some of us have, really. A third of us have done their due diligence out here today. <laughs> due diligence. Yeah. Um, and we would like to present to our gracious audience mm -hmm. who's come out here to support um, the episode today and just kind of tell them why we think us and our pistol should, should be the choice. Okay. You want to start? You went first earlier. Oh, I thought you'd go. I, I don't okay. care. Okay. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I came into this confident that I'd be able to perform. Yeah. And unfortunately, <clears throat> I did not perform, nor did my gun. Hmm. So I don't really have anything to say to the studio audience other than, you ever see like, you know, Tiny Timmy? Is that his name? Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. Timmy? And you just feel bad for him, and you just want him to do better. Mm. Feel bad for me. Make sure I win. Except you're not Tiny. That's all I got. You definitely are tiny. Yeah, bad reference, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. No, we don't actually. What, what do you got? Help, help yourself. Nice. Uh, so, given the fact that I, I, I think I performed pretty well, and I helped both of you on some of your victories, I think that's why I should win. That's it? Yeah. Short and sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say a few words? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a speech again. <laughs> he's God got damn. another speech. Dude's got a speech for an, a live event. To everyone I watching, like I want to, and I'm going to reference some notes because I don't want to get it wrong. Okay. Do you want to go get that statement? <laughs> it might be a minute. I want to talk to you about <laughs> heroes. <laughs> Are you crying? It's so funny. <laughs> I can't believe you ate the whole meal. I still can't get over it. Oh, man. Whew. There's turkey grease on these 40 count oh, rounds over here. 
Hey, I'll, go I'll ahead. Just, Sorry, go I've ahead. I've never had apple butter, and that was actually pretty good. Not bad. That. Yeah. Um, to continue, I want to talk to you guys about heroes and excellence. Okay. Now, <clears throat> heroes don't time. need expensive guns to be excellent. Okay, they don't. They don't need that. They adapt and they overcome. Okay. Exactly what I did with the turkey. Is the Bursa Thunder 40 an expensive gun? No. No, <clears throat> it's not. I can see that because it doesn't need to be because it's the choice of heroes. Didn't it stop but working? isn't that the only gun that broke today? Take the, Ecuador take the Ecuadorian Air Force, by example. They carry a it, Bursa. It literally stopped working. They're known as the Delta Force. <laughs> Of South, South America. America. <laughs> it literally okay. stopped working. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. Okay, you saw how this performed out here today. Badly. <laughs> no, Badly. It performed with honor and nobility and an undying, relentless pursuit to serve heroes. I think it was a cop that failed to act. Me? I'm not a, I'm not a hero. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm not a hero, but heroes carry the Bursa, and that's why I believe you should vote for me tonight. Thank you very much for showing up. We really appreciate it for spending your gas money. In that wasn't an Obama dinner. speech. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> right? Is this functional? No, because it served it served me well today. Will the slide go? Kind of. It'll kind of go home. <laughs> yeah. Is a part hanging on the back of it? Sure. It's because it served. Hero. I'm left, not saying I'm a well, hero. Left it all out there, did it? It did it good. <laughs> left parts out there. <laughs> so with that said, I think we will have to get a vote from each judge on who they believe performed best out You're, you're paying them, aren't you? At the end of the day, we're tied right now. That's true. This is true. That's I'm true. clearly the loser. We are actually tied out we here right tie. now. So really, to make this simple, judges between Mason and myself, there's three judges, so there's a tiebreaker vote there. How much did you pay them? If I had to vote, uh, I would put, pick Mason as uh, the winner, even though Jake uh, pretty much turned me off on Thanksgiving dinner for the rest of my life. And uh, had a very inspiring speech. Hits count, so Mason had more. Um, sorry, which camera do I look at? This one? Okay. So if I had to vote for a victor, I would vote for Jake. Um, at first, I was going for Mason my head told me Mason should win, but my heart told me Jake should. And he gives a hell of a speech and I'm a sucker for a good speech. So he had a lot of heart and I think he earned it eating that food that I will forever haunt me on Thanksgiving. But that's, yeah, that's my vote. If I had to pick anybody, it was gonna be Jake just because of how professional he was eating the, all the food and just battling through it with that gun. But I would never carry that gun. I'd better off throwing it. I would never EDC Jake's cheap gun. I'd rather not EDC at all. Chandler. Jake. Jake. Uh, we got one for Jake. Scotty. Mason. One for Jake, Scott. one for Mason. Chris. I'll do the tiebreaker. Jake. Yes! Oh, yes! Really? I thought I, I thought we I thought we had an agreement. You didn't. I lied. You didn't. I lied about my vote. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. Came out here, did work today. Did work. Bertha. De la Bertha. Showing up. I will say, in four years of doing this, that is the hardest I've ever seen Jake work. Which is, you know, this is like this is like midnight, and then like all these extra votes come in. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, keep rolling. Don't worry. <laughs> just keep rolling. <laughs> Just let me know when I can talk. Okay, uh, just final thoughts. Um, I was just racking my slide. That part fell out of the back of the gun. Um, so some of that is because this, I believe it's my extractor, just blew out of the back of the gun. Um, I do just a couple quick thank yous, no big deal. Stofers, you guys really made this possible. Um, also, any members of the Ecuadorian Air Force that watch this, the Delta of South America, appreciate your service. Keep fighting the good fight. See you guys next time. Firearms legal protection. If you guys are ever in a self-defense scenario, whether it's with a firearm, a rock, a knife, you name it. If it is legally justified, you should be carrying self-defense 
insurance. We use Firearms Legal Protection. They have three separate packages. I travel and I'm married, so I have a package that covers my wife and me when I'm in other states. Jake, single guy, bachelor, doesn't leave his house. He has a package for that also. Again, our code 1911 will save you about a third off. And the best part of this is, if you do happen to call them, because you are in some sort of situation, you talk to an attorney and they have a team come up and clean your house for you. Firearms Legal Protection, check them out.